Hi guys, it's Rachel here. I hope everyone's having a great Sunday. So, um, so I'm here with day 34 and I thought I'd start off just by showing you the tags that I did. I did a couple in my extra video and then um, the other ones I, I just finished off all of those uh, tags that I had cut up in my day 33 video. So I'll just show you the tags that I did. Um, so you can see that's just one of my printables behind doilies, a bird. I think that bird came from the Graphics Fairy, one of my labels and an Artie Mays butterfly. Um, this is a bird that I had um, my doilies behind uh, William Morris and one of my ta uh, labels. Really love the way these turned out. Um, this is a um, Graphics Fairy, I think, um, image. I think it's from the Graphics Fairy or is, I don't know. I get confused, got too many things. Just some um, botanical images, my embroidery behind. I put a little bit of lace, um, smile from Calico Collage and one of my labels. And it's they've mostly all got um, just old book page on the back. Um, again here, this is antique papery, music paper, botanical, uh, doily, lace, a bird and one of my labels. And oh, and I folded that doily over to the back. So just adds that little touch and then these sorry these tabs here came from um, Roberta um, now this has got a doily that I cut a little bit here and then I br brought it down here I really like that and then I had a little piece of another one so I put that there and then that's a bit of an arty maze behind and then um, one of my labels and then a bird and then this one I've been trying to play a little bit more with these sorts of things because What's on the back of that one? Nothing, just old book page. Um, now this is some sari silk that came from uh, Sue Cook from Paper Inspirations. You should check out her channel. She, it's just beautiful. Um, I just used some scraps in the background. One of my doilies, a toucan and a butterfly. Um, here's one of those lovely owls that didn't couldn't find a home but finally found one. And uh, here... Uh, I've got some doily, one of my collage pages in the background, one of my labels, the owl, some book page as a tab and just old book page on the back. Um, this one has some digital, digital curio behind, um, music paper, a little piece of doily, one of my labels and a bird. And then this is the same music paper, a little bit of arty maze there, my label, bird and doily. Oh, and I put doily and music paper and old book page on the back. Uh, I think I did this one in the video. I made it into a big journaling card. And um, I put one of those there. For, they're from the Graphics Fairy. Just a mix of papers in the background. And then a bird on the front. An old book page on the back. Um, and then this bird. He's been trying to find a home for quite a long time as well. Um, so I've got some of my doilies in the background, a few there, some sort of antique knitting and I didn't put it down flat. I don't know if you can see that. I sort of bunched it up a little bit. I think I did this on video, a little bit of doily and then that's on the back. Um, mushrooms and a butterfly, one of my labels, some doily. That's another doily that I split. I like that idea. I'll do more of that. And then there's just a doily there and the mushrooms and one of my labels and Sue's sari silk and then... A doily on the back and then here I just I had this little piece of doily that's one of my embroideries that's another one I just like the combination of them all um, a label and I just put some lilac there and just book page on the back this is an echinacea this one's been trying to find a home for quite a long time as well um, some doily in the corner I think that was on my collage page and page and when I cut it um, it that's what was on naturally onto the page and then I collaged on the back. I really like this one. I did struggle with this one. Um, in fact, I moved it aside when I was doing the video because I struggled. But then I um, I put this doily here and my big label. And then I put that coming over the label. And I really like how that turned out. And some of them, as you see, I decided just to make them journaling cards and not um, taggy sort of things. Uh, this is one. This one I really love. This one I also found a bit of a struggle to start off with, um, but then I put that um, doily there, and I really liked how it brought it all the collagey bits together, and then this beautiful um, purple flower, and then I did put this on the back. I don't know if I've published this one or not, this embroidery, but I really love it, and I thought it worked well with the front. Um, this is a doily and butterfly long tag. I think I did this on video, and then 
I love the background with just that little piece of linen and you I mean you won't be able to see it on camera but there's beautiful you can see the beautiful texture of the linen there and then this one I really like how that one turned out I like putting these things they scare me like I look at them I think oh what am I going to do with that um, but I do like putting them little bits of doily I like the little bits of doily poking in and then um, really old book page on the back and then this one's fairly simple I did that on the video so that is what I did yesterday that is all of it um, so today I thought I've been wanting to do this for ever since I first saw Patricia uh, Vitamontes show them now this is a um, I didn't really fully watch her tutorial but well I kind of knew um, how she constructed them but I'm going to make um, Patricia let's call them Patricia envelopes so um, I've just stitched one um, but I'm going to do them in all different sizes and I have no idea um, what we'll put on top of them but I, I printed out some of my printables um, of all my, some bits and pieces from all my kits that I have available because I haven't played with those for a while and I thought we'd play a little bit with those and um, and yeah so that's what I thought I'd do with these create these envelopes like that so let's see um, I'll just tell you how Patricia did it but you can go and watch her um, tutorial I'll link I'll link that in the description box below I pulled my cord too far um, so I've got three different book sizes so this is this is this you can see the sizes here and then I've got this big one so we'll do a big one as well so there are three three different sizes I can measure them if you like why don't I do that um, I'll tell you so this the smaller one is five and a quarter inches or 13 and a half centimeters um, and the height is about 19 centimeters and seven and a half inches that's the smallest I've got one that's slightly bigger um, which is nine and how many one two three four five six seven eight no that's not right five eighths and then I think you'll have a good giggle and a little bit over five and a half inches and 22 centimeters by 14 centimeters and then so um so basically what i've got here are two pages um, glued together so obviously if you had your glue pages um that's what you'd be using and then and then just one page of the same paper folded in half to create the front super simple um and then i mean obviously patricia um has decorated them in her beautiful style uh, mine will probably be totally different because um, we have a bit of a different style but um, I did love her um, her idea of using the book pages because she's the book page queen so 24 centimeters this one and a little less than nine and a half inches did I do the centimeters 24 centimeters and nine yes a bit more than nine and a half just to give you an idea of the sizes 17 centimeters and a little more than six and a half okay so there the, the, I've got three different sizes because you know they can go into different journals or whatever so um, I'm going to quickly stitch around those and I'm now Patricia um, she uses beautiful um, contrasting thread but I don't want to um, mess about um, with my machine and have to change my thread so I'm not going to do that although it does look really good so I highly recommend if you're not lazy like me to do it and as I said do go and watch her her tutorial because it's fabulous and I'm just going to I'm just putting my clips on here just to hold it and I'm just going to go zigzag really quickly um, all the way around oh and one other thing just quickly I'm not going to zigzag do any you could I'm not going to stitch there I don't think I really need to because it's not the open end if I were putting it that way and I had the open end I would I would of course stitch but that's nice and strong because it's folded over obviously you could decorate your bits before you start I'm gonna um, I just decided I'm going to decorate it as a whole really been wanting to make these for quite a while ever since um, Patricia showed them so 
that's one I've got the other ones one's already stitched now this um, and oh another thing I'm stitching I want to be careful with that that that's going the right way there and then I've got my page upside down but although I am going to be I think I might turn my page that way I'll tell you why because I'm going to be collaging on that so you probably won't be see, able to see much of the upside down writing and I might not do so much in here I don't know so at least it's facing up the right way that one I did the opposite I've done that one upside down are you going Steffi take the keys so you don't oh well I'll probably be finished by the time you come back but you better take the keys I would go to the EPA, you know where to pack. Okay. Yeah. So that's just my hubby. He's speaking English to me today. Um, he's heading on out to do a little, he has to go and get a couple of things for his mama because um, we're going there again for dinner tonight. I'm very excited about it. I don't have to cook dinner. And we're going to eat yummy fresh pasta. And she's invited our dear friends, so she'll be really cooking up a storm. So I'll have to let you know tomorrow how that went. It must sound like all we do is eat. I must say eating is one of the pleasures of life. Eating and having a glass of wine. We're not going to cut those out. Okay, so normally I do straight stitch, but I decided to um, give the zigzagging stitch a whirl. And uh, let's see how we go. I don't know. It's not, not a good sign when I'm not sure what I want to do. Because, you know, some days it just flows out of me and other days I just, you know, you know how it is. So... I've got all my things here. Let's have a look at those. Oh, I did. I do have. I do have a vague idea of what I would like to do. Oops, I'm losing all my bits. Just a sec. Come on, come over here. Move it. Okay. So the types of things that I printed out from my kits um, are postcards. Probably I'm not going to use these. Uh, I printed them too big, but I am going to use these. I did print this out from, I think that was from my kit number one. I don't remember all of these what kits they came from. I did print out this because I might cut out the flowers, that. Um, also this, I thought I might cut out. I'm wanting to cut out the embroideries. That's what I would like to do, um, where the embroideries are bigger. I don't know if you can see this one. I love that, um, that little lace detail. It's pretty pale. But I do like it. I love these um, cartolina postale. Um, so yes, yeah, so I just printed out all those sorts of things there um, to have a play with. I don't know whether I use them or not. I've printed out, oh, I printed out a ledger paper from the Graphics Fairy in case I want to use that as a background. I printed out these in case I want to use them as a background. And I printed these on regular copy paper. Um, and I might want to use that or this sort of thing. And then I also printed out some doilies from those previous kits here. Some little things to use. And I don't know if I'm on screen. I printed out two of those because I love those. And I haven't had them printed for ages. And I'd actually forgotten about them. And I also love those. Um, another one of those, Cartolina 1917. And they make lovely backgrounds. I love that doily. And I also love this doily that wasn't actually embroidered. I'd embroider that one day. And then I also printed out this one as well. I might use that as a background. I might not. And oh, and the, these postcards, but they might be too big. I'll just see. These, I thought these could be nice ephemera to, ephemera, ephemera to tuck in. So um, now I'm going to move those aside. Now I did think about this one a little bit. This first one, I've lost a bit. Oh, wait, I got some more. Just a sec. Sorry, guys. It's, it's a usual video, isn't it? Am I, am I recording? Am I recording? Yes. Okay, I printed out those ones as well. Sorry. Forgot about them. Those two. Oh, isn't that nice? So they're nice things to use. Um, now, where have I lost? Oh, dear, this is not good. 
I've lost a bit. I've lost a piece. I need to find it. It was here. It must be here somewhere because I saw it. I reckon it's probably, I reckon, very Aussie. Um, it's probably in here somewhere. Um, let me see. Let me see. Hmm. Didn't go under my sewing machine, no. There it is. Found it. There you go. Helps to shake it. So I was thinking I might put this as a background here. Like so. And then I was going to put a little piece of... Um, I know I know. I don't normally pre-prepare, but I just had to have a little think about it before I started. Otherwise, I thought I'll just get confused. Um, I thought I might put that there. And then I fussy cut this out so you didn't have to painfully watch me do that. And I thought I might put that there and I'll obviously trim off. What? Yes, I like that. That's what I'm going to do there. So I think I might use my PVA glue here. Now, if you want to, if you were really organized, you could, um, you could, you know, stitch on your bits, do all your bits separately and then put it all together. But I, I th I'm feeling like I need to look at it as a whole and not in bits. I guess maybe because I haven't done many of them, these sorts of things before. Well, I've never done any um, except from the other types of envelopes that I made. But um, this is a little bit different because I've got um, bigger spaces bigger surfaces to work on because they're bigger but thank you Patricia for all of your wonderful videos and um, I'm hoping things are moving along for you in a very positive light don't know how better to put that and we look forward to when you'll be able to produce more videos because you haven't had much time or or privacy to be able to do it as you mentioned in the video that I watched the other day I think it was this one was it this one this video that I watched so what I might do is I might just trim off my little flowers and I probably won't throw those bits out you never know and they could be collage somewhere else you never know and I'm going to trim off that little leaf and then I'll put my glue on. I really like that. So as you notice, I'm gluing on a, a book because um, I had a lot of magazines things. So I need to go through the magazines again and get them down further because I really don't look at them. I don't look at magazines anymore. I used to buy magazines like a mad person, um, like interiors and that sort of stuff. Now with Pinterest, you don't really need to buy magazines. Sorry, magazine people. Um, and um, and so I've just slowly gotten rid of them all. Um, well, I, I got rid of my interiors ones before I even started doing this. Otherwise, they would have been nice. I used to buy the Kotsuds, quite expensive but lovely magazines. Um, I used to buy Marie Claire Ideas, but then they changed. Um, I think they became, they used to be every three months and then they became every two months. And I just didn't like the magazine as much. So I stopped purchasing it. It was it just went down. Oops, well now what am I doing here? In in I think in quality of projects because they had to produce more projects. And there was a lot more of things that I really wasn't that see and now I shouldn't have trimmed that off until I glued it. But I didn't want to get sticky scissors, doesn't matter. Um Yeah, so anyway, um Sass so still likes likes that magazine she still buys it she says she still likes it but I don't really look at them so I don't buy magazines um, I buy I buy I, I even buy less books than I used to I only buy books from my favorite people and then um, because I don't really look at them anymore I do occasionally I may look at my favorite ones okay so that's on there it's done okay and then I'm thinking now I had to put all my labels in here and my owls and stuff because I need to cut them out and I haven't had a chance to cut them out uh, and so I had to put them in a folder and then I'll put them in my ephemera folder but I still need to sort out my ephemera folders um, from when I started moving my stamps over to the other one and I haven't finished the other one because you know what I'm like very slow I like that there 
I don't want to cover up that writing there because I think it gives it a nice little background. Oh, I've got these nice things to use too from the Graphics Fairy. I think I got them from the Graphics Fairy. Yes, I did. Um, so I just pull those out because they could be nice backgrounds. Um, and so, yes, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'll get, I need to get those. Now, I just wanted to see if I might prefer something else. Because, you, you know, you could always prefer something else. Get off, go off track. Now, the one I was thinking of, of course, it's that one in there. So I'm going to have more bits floating around. I might prefer that one. So I try and keep it on a big, as big a piece as possible, the other ones. So I don't lose them. Because I'm thinking I might like blue. Now, I may not get through all of the envelopes because it depends, as I said, how much I struggle. And I like that more. I do. Just depends how much I struggle. I am actually thinking I might like a stamp as well. I might. So I'm going to hop up in a second and grab that folder as well. OK, I really like that. That goes really well with the colors, mm -hmm. I think. And I'm just going to grab, which one has my stamps? Whoops. I want this one because I want my Italian. Oh, there's some more embroidery. Oh, I better get my doilies down as well. You never know. I might need a doily. Um, right, I don't want that one. I want this one. As you can see, it hasn't progressed any further. New stamps have arrived. It hasn't progressed any further from the other day. Oh, yes, it has. I put the, all of those in. I put my new some of my new stamps in. Um, but that is how far I've gotten. I haven't I even put my birds in. Look, I've got all these pages to put in and I could add some more pages if I wanted to. But I was thinking a nice little Italian stamp might be nice here and possibly something blue. Something, well, that one's got a nice stamp on it. Yeah, I think I'm going to put that there. Okay, put those down there. I'm trying to keep some semblance of organization today, but you'll see. I'll get out of, I'll, I'll go out of control as I usually do. Okay, so that will go there. Now it's a very grey day outside, raining. There was a thunderstorm before. I did get to the antique market. I bought some very old books. Um, they're quite ruined. So I'm thinking I'll be doing some paper packs because they are in quite bad condition. And then I'll try and fix the I'll try and fix the the books. Now I kind of wanted to oh that's how I thought I might put that there like that. So oh I like that. You, that pokes out peeps out from behind and I might put something there. I'm thinking I've got these little bits cut out. Like, you know, you could have a piece shooting in. That's why you keep these bits, because you can have pieces shooting in from corners. So, yes. So, But I'm thinking I need something behind there. Um, I don't want to go full on like that. I could tear something. Or oh, what about... No, I don't want that. It's only a bit like a scatterbrain, I think. If I put that here, um, I'm just going to cut out a few things. You just have, no, that one's too big. I need smaller. I need it to be smaller. Doily there. Um, no, none of those. More fussy cutting to do. think any of these I don't know what I'm thinking what do I want under there I don't want lacy things because that's already an embroidery so why do I I don't want to do that I don't want to do this because it won't be enough contrast hmm let me see okay well 
that could be nice but I'd have to trim it down oh I know I've got this lovely bit of paper oh I know maybe this oh no maybe this sorry guys I've got some scraps here I do love that but I don't know I don't know if this will go with it. I don't think it goes. The colours are not right. So let me see what else I've got over here that I had pulled out the other day. I've got this. So I could use this. Might be too there might be too much pattern, but that's quite nice. And then you'd have to have that. It's still see it's still the wrong colour. I don't like the colour. It's the colour that's getting me. Otherwise I've got I've got this here. And I do don't mind that one there. And then I would have to put this here. And I actually don't mind that. I'm just going to, I want it to be torn. I'm going to tear it. I certainly don't want it to be all straight and perfect. And I'm just going to have to tear this here. Now, I can't remember who this paper comes from. I think it's, did I say it was Screech Owl Studio? I think I said it in one of my other videos. I might use this piece that's a little bit not quite as wide and I need to tear it about there just a minute let's turn it upside down so I can tear it the right way there we go and I think I'm going to put that there and then I'll put this yeah I think I like that more yeah I do so let's glue this down glue this I don't think I've got any glue there okay and we'll put this here and then I need to glue this I better change my paper oh and thank you ladies a couple of ladies that gave me some ideas with the magazine um, when I finished you know using my magazines as glue pages um, as what to do with them thank you very much I think they're great ideas and so that could happen and this one I was going to put this way not too concerned about how it should go I think it's meant to go the other way but it doesn't matter I'm the boss of my project. Here we go. And I'll give that a trim. And then let me see here. Don't you love it? You get sticky fingers and you can just look, things just stick. Ah oh dear, so silly. Otherwise, oh, I'm just having another thought. What about I put some paper there because that'll be a writing spot paper would I like to put there as a writing spot here comes another decision I have to make um, I'm thinking probably or some straw paper Let me just grab a piece of straw paper because I do think this is lovely with the colors that we've got going on whoops And I'll just give that a tear there. So we don't want to lose the feeling of the, you know, completely of the, the book page. So I'll have it a bit smaller. And that's going to be my writing spot. Now where's the fold? I don't think I want to go over the fold. So I'll just tear off a bit more. Okay, so let's glue this. So that's a nice writing space because there's quite a lot of surfaces to decorate here and so that's like that I really like that and 
then you could have something like this happening there or maybe they need to go all together maybe that one there no nope. you know me I might go back and put it how it was no I don't really like that I think I like it more down here across there maybe just that piece could have this piece here or here nope maybe nowhere maybe I'll just have that piece there and then let me see this piece again maybe I would like that piece there no nope. okay just this piece there after all of that okay so I like that so that's inside that's where you put things in that's the front I really like that and I like that you can see that there it's like having a double label I like the stamp okay I'm happy with that and then this side now this side could also be a journaling side but we might collage it or oh, wrong glue this one so that didn't take too long well, that one be only because I knew what I was starting with the next ones will be harder because I haven't thought about them at all this one I had thought about already just the you know the cut out flowers they were in my mind already and we might use a bit of this because this is pale and you can write over this with a black pen so I think I'll put that there and I need something there and I've got some book page here now can I tear that so that it's wide enough quite wide enough maybe I can put that down there and get another piece of that I have to be ruthless and get rid of some of these pieces because I just end up with so many but it's hard because then you think oh I might need that well, I like this piece here too I do love that but anyway let's stick with what we're with the plan so I need to tear this it wouldn't do that I need to do it properly and get this don't tell me I've torn it too nearly too narrow it's still recording good and I'm on screen just okay and I next need to get rid of this okay yes that'll work so let's just tear this off okay and we'll glue this one down and number one is done Hello. hi Lulu Lulu's doing a homework you finish well can you write your list down for your final exam please you can can you hear me have him puffing there's always a reason why no no I'm huffing and puffing not you me I'm huffing and puffing it's me Isn't it funny sometimes I'm just determined to put something somewhere no don't look at that anymore okay that's my first one I like the cut out embroideries that's what I want to play with a bit more and so that is an envelope I like that good so we'll put that there to dry and we'll start on the next size so I should move these papers out of the way otherwise I always look at the same thing um, and I'll cover it up so I can't see it now I do love this birdie I love the birdie and I'll tell you what else I like I think I like those colors together so I'm going to tear some of this for my background now 
Now that birdie, um, uh, I don't think I've published that um, that digital yet. I haven't done put that in a digital yet, but I will. Uh, do, and I th yes, I'm going to get rid of that. That's okay. I'll keep that for something else and throw that on the floor. Okay. Right, so if I put that there, I need to tear off a bit more down here. And I'll just put these two together because I'll use them for some, like if I wanted to do another one of these. So I've got those, they're a big piece. And let's glue this. Now I'm getting my video done. It's just after lunch today. It's probably about two now. Um, so that way, because I really need to get on with uh, some journals that I'm making. And um, yes, that will make me happy. I feel like I'm getting somewhere. I could change my mind here. I'm going to cut out the bird. The bird with some flowers, but not all the flowers. And he might be, for a bit I'm going to use my big scissors and then I'll do any fine details with my little scissors. Um, he may be too big and I might have to abandon this idea and keep him or her for the bigger envelope. Okay, let's grab the other scissors. Shouldn't take too long to cut this out because there's, you know, it's not too fiddly. I don't think there's no interior white bits to cut out or anything like that. Now I did print this on regular copy paper because I didn't want it to be too heavy. But I'm actually going to rescan this one because I did it with my old scanner, and even though it's fine, I think. Um, It'll do it. The new scanner does a better job. So I'll get onto that this week. I'm going to scan things again. Um, and I'm, yeah. So I think that's what I'll do. I'll rescan this one because it's just gorgeous. And plus, you've got all that lettering. Where is it? Oh, over here. I threw it over there. Got all that lettering that's fun to use. I think it's in German. I don't actually speak German, so I can't understand what it says. And I absolutely love that embroidery. embroidery. I'll never cut it up. It's just folded away. Yeah, I don't normally find at my um, market in my town, I don't normally find the really super old books. Like, yes, maybe, uh, you know, late 1800s or 1870, I could probably find them. But this one man, he had a table of super old books like 1829, 1822. I think I got one from 1835. And like some of them are missing their spines. Um, but they've got the beautiful um, covers. So I'm going to, I've got an idea for those. I'll reconstruct the spine part. And I'll take the book pages out and I'll make some paper packs. And obviously I'll put the original some of the original pages back into whatever journal I make with the dated page that always goes into the if I make a journal from a book I always make sure that the first pages go into the the journal because um, I feel like whoever purchases it should have the original you know those sorts of pages that tell you the date and everything um, yeah I've got some ideas of what I want to do so oh I like that. It's different, isn't it? But I'm wondering, is it working on that background? I do like it. It's quite different to my usual colours. Might need a little bit of warmth under it, I think. I might put that there. Yes, I do quite like that. Yes, I'll put that there. Picking up the wrong glue. So it's fairly simple. Oh, I know what it might need. Might need a little bit of lace. What laces do I have flying around or netting or something? Needs a little bit of texture, I think. So 
So that's nice there. I've got this here. Now where are my scissors? Over there. Very simple embroidery, but very pretty. It's done, what stitch that's all? Looks like it's um, stem stitch. Yes, that you see, that's it. And you know what else I'm gonna put? A word. I do like putting words. Oh, and I know what else I enjoyed doing yesterday was that um, paper ruffle. Now that is totally from um, Sue Cook from Paper Inspirations. And um, she sent me a bag full and I just had that piece of paper there and I just thought I'd give it a go. But off, she did it on beautiful um, papers that she had tea dyed and stuff. And she did um, some with sort of kind of contrasting threads and things. And I've used some of them. Um, but uh, I just thought I'd give it a go because I did watch Sue's tutorial. She has a tutorial. Actually, maybe I should make a note and I could link her tutorial. Why don't I do that? Let me find, as if I'm lacking, I'm just saying, let me find a piece of paper. Well, as if I'm lacking paper, there's paper everywhere. Right, so I'll just write it here. I've got a link, Patricia, envelope. That way I won't forget. And paper inspirations, papers inspiration, I write. Um, ruffle, toot, toot, toot bit silly today. I'm getting back to my silly self after the stress of the other day. It's slow but it's coming back. Right now let's get the words. Where did I put the words? I think my words are over here. No, are they in my collage sheets? Yes they are. Here are the words. I'm thinking I would like a word and not a not a um, label because words are good too. And I'm just looking here, there's nothing there. Um, let her light shine. Or be brave and fly, that's a good one. Now, if it's too long, well, you know what I do, I just cut it and put it in two rows. Let's see. See what I prefer here. I might like, well, I kind of like that, but I kind of would like it in two. I'm going to cut it. If I ruin it, we'll just have to find something else. I think I would like it like this. That's how I would like it in two rows. There you go. It worked. That's what I'm happy with. Okay, so uh, just let's put lots of, I might put some PVA on there just to be sure, even though my other glue does glue fabric as we know, I'll just stick the PVA on there. There you go, I hope you're straight. I do like that. Oh, and you know what, I might do the other side I might make, if, I, if it fits, I might cut one of my envelopey things, not my envelopey, my postcardy things. And um, it can be a little bit like a postcard on the other side. So that's good. Mm, got a lot to decorate. I might struggle. Oh, I know. This is going to go there, I think. And I'm going to tear it. Because you can write on there. tear that and I'm just going to tear this wonky edge off that I had cut before and that should be perfect perfect so that's going there so that's done I also watched um, What's her name? A, a Crafty Sabby video. It's an old one. I think I, I probably watched it quite a few times before I even knew how to make books. Um, and uh, 
she just shows all these different ways that she folded the book pages to make pockets really interesting so I'd like to have one I'm, I'm some of my um, 100 day project will be some of those because that's something I've been wanting to do for a really long time and I think I do think even though it's you know it's quite hard doing this 100 day project I do think um, it's been a good thing because uh, it just as I said a hundred million times and I'll say it another one um, do we want that no I think we'll leave it um, it just make is making me do things that I you know I'm trying all the things that I wanted to try that I hadn't tried now I do like seeing the writing under there I like that I wonder if this could be nice there no. Okay, what do I have over here? Oh, let me have a look at um, my printables because that's one of the things I wanted to do was to use those a little bit more. Um, I don't want the embroideries because I've done those. But I'll tell you what could be nice. I was thinking that something like that on this side, if it fits. So I'll cut that out. Or maybe one of the other colour ones. I'll just have a look. I'll just cut it out. And um, I might have to take a little bit off. Hmm. Don't know what that means. Sorry, I was just reading what the postcard said. It says, Questa parte può essere speed. Oh, I see. It must have been attached to something else, this um, postcard. Uh, it's not really a postcard. I wonder what they are. I um, don't know what they were for. Um, like it wasn't decorated on the other side. The other side is all written. So, um, I, oh, it's not quite big enough. So we might have to put something underneath it. But no, I don't want that one there. I don't want that one at all. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I wonder what they were for. I really don't know what they were for. okay let's just have a look I know you can't see see this might have been the other side of that one no I don't think so I like this one I might have to put a paper behind was a bit crooked mm, I might like it more in there yes it fits better in there doesn't it and it does actually work well with the colors there so yes I think I've changed my mind I'm going to put it inside and I need to trim off a bit of it and it's not cut perfectly straight but will I worry about it probably not I'll probably put something across there so I think I'll just glue that down and then I'll decide whether I might like to do a little bit of decoration or not So that's actually I should probably make it up put it oh no I won't I, I might put a, a trim or something across there like I've got this I could tear this this is from that piece and I just might like a strip of that kind of do actually so I'll just tear that off and glue that down very quick snappy decisions today no procrastinating am I recording that would be a disaster I'm a little bit off screen I'm going to move my glue book over to the other side because that's where I normally have it and it's it's pushing me off screen it's all the glue books fault now I need my 
I need to have a quick look here. Let me just throw some bits on the floor. I don't think I want any more embroideries there. Let's put that over there or it'll be lost. Hold on to that. Now I don't think I want any more embroidery, so we'll just move those out of the way. I could have a doily, I could have a flower. Put those there. I don't think I want that doily. Look at all these lovely things. So many nice things to play with. No, I don't think I want those. And then I've got these. No. I have a bird. I could cut out that bird. So I've got that. And that's left over from the other piece. And I don't want any of that. Okay, just making, getting rid of the mess. Um, I could like that bird. I could like a flower. I like the bird. I'm going to cut him out. I'm just going to cut him out in a way that hopefully I don't sort of lose those um, roses because I might like those one day. Oh, it got wet. What did it get wet? Oh, I've got a wet one there. What a goose. I didn't know I had to pull the wet one out. There we go. Clean my fingers. Throw that on the floor. Now, I can do a little bit of this with the big scissors. I might not like this. You know what it's like. I cut them out and then I don't like it. I'm just going to leave those bits of flowers there for a second to see if I want to keep them or get rid of them. Okay, nearly there. Don't like pointy bits, cut those off. No, I don't want those. I'm going to cut them off. There's the little scissors. So I'm going to cut this a little bit further. Okay, so I really do like that somewhere. Maybe I'll put it there. It's like delivering a letter. And I think I might put a label. We didn't put one on the front, did we? Well, we, put, we can put a label on. We're allowed. So where are the labels? Here. So I won't glue him down until I want... No, they're not the labels. Oh, they're here. Um, till I've 100% decided. No. And those are too small. So let's get the whole folder. That one's nice. But I don't think I want that colour. I might like it in green. One of my favourite labels is this one here. I absolutely love that. And I printed out two. I don't want black or red. I think I want blue. And that, I love those ones. Oh. No, I don't want blue. I want green, maybe. Let's have a look at this one. It might be too big. So these are the ones that I printed nine to a page just um, just from the you know printer instructions from the JPEGs. Oh, I better not lose that piece of paper, those um, labels that I wrote on what I had to put my links.
come on okay oh I didn't even look I've just ripped it ripped it into it and I don't even think it's too big and I've taken the sticky off I'll see if I can put the sticky back on what a goose there we go fixed it I need a smaller one big too big here we go these are a bit smaller so this one could be or or hmm like that one. Oh, what about this one this was the other one I like these two I like I like all of them really that one and that one wrong shape yeah I think I'll put that one in there just in the spirit of making a decision All of these back in the folder because as I mentioned before I'm going to lose them all right come on and then I have to decide what to do on the reverse side so I'm going to stick that there and then I'm going to glue my birdie down Okay. And there he goes. Great. And then on this side, we'll do a little bit of collaging. Um, now, where is? I love the way I, I ask you, where is? Like, you know, um, I might put a little bit of this. Uh, of the, the script, the embroidered writing. I ask you where things are, like, you know, well, you probably know where they are. It's just that you can't answer me. I think I'll put a little bit of this, that on top. And I might have some of this. I might. Then again, I might not. So the, when you go and watch Patricia's um, video, you'll see that mine are quite different. Um, so yeah, I'll say they're Patricia. Particular little, 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 I can't speak. I'm not even. Gonna, I have to give up. Patricia style. That's what I want to say. Yes, I think I'll glue this one down first. My poor husband had to go to the shopping center. That's not his favorite thing to do. And it's Sunday and it's raining. So you can imagine the crowds. And, and, and we went yesterday because we had to get Lulu a new sim. So we thought we'll go and do that. And I have he needs to come with me because I don't always understand those things. Um, and so we went yesterday. So can you imagine having to go back there today in the rain with all the crowds? I have taught him where to park, but who knows if he can remember by himself. 
because he never goes to the supermarket, never. I made him buy some t-shirts too. I said, you're going to go and buy yourself some t-shirts because you never come shopping and I always have to guess what you like. Good, I really like that. And I'm going to leave that plain for writing. I like how that one turned out. I like that. Cool. And then you put things in there. Thank you, Patricia. This is really fun. So there's a medium one. And now we go, oh, the big one. What am I going to do on the big one? Okay. Okay, okay. Let's not use what we've already used. Um, that's sticky. This is sticky. So let's stick them together. Put those over there. And I'll just get rid of that. And okay, I've got some glue glue page ready. Mmm, what's going to go here? <laughs> Let me have a think about it. So, I've got lots of nice things here. Probably needed that's one of my old letters, isn't that beautiful? I needed that to be bigger. I'll just cut it out just in case. Did need that to be bigger. Maybe I'll, I'll, yes, can I manage it? Maybe I'll try and tear it. Tore that. That, that, and oh, this one, I've, it's a little bit short, but I'll try. Got it. Yes. Good. Except for that one side's not torn, but I'll, I'll maybe I'll cover that up. I'm only just putting that there just to think about it for a minute. And got those lovely flowers. Got doilies, flowers. Got these nice flowers to cut out. Just do a little bit of fussy cutting, guys. I couldn't be prepared before because I didn't know what I was doing, so you'll just have to bear with me. But one of my goals today, I don't know if I mentioned it before, I am a bit repetitive, you may have noticed at times, because I don't remember, um, but was to use some of the embroideries cut out. in the spirit of fussy cutting because that seems to be an ongoing theme as well. I'm going to cut out that little, this one's a little bit um, more um, in Italian impegnativo, it's a bit more, it's a bit more of an effort to um, to cut it because there's a few bits in white bits that I need to cut out and I could go in with more detail but I may not we'll see how it looks I'm not too interested in going too perfect I don't want it to be all perfect you never know I might not even like it I might get rid of that bit there and I need to go in here. Okay. Let's see if we like this. I don't, oh, I do like it, but I don't want to cover them on. I might have it going in like that. Hmm. We need to work this out. If I move that up there.
maybe like that kind of like that but it needs something else I could put that like that slightly over and have something here happening yeah I like that oh pretty something different I like it when there's something different it can be similar but different now I've got no idea for the rest of it no idea okay we'll put that there then I had this one why not? I'm going to put a bit of lace somewhere. Fabric or lace, whichever. Now, was that like that? I think it was. So I'm not covering up too much of that beautiful, luscious writing. What a nice colour combination, this tanny sort of colour with the blue. Now, I hope this is not a disaster because my paper is becoming a little bit sticky. And when you've got these... Um, bits with all little bits coming out everywhere they can rip off I think it was going that way and it's coming it's shooting across it's going to shoot across it's like a sprig maybe it will go up like that yes I think that's best so I'll put it there and then down you go oh I like it really do like that I'm thinking I might even just leave it as is Could have that. Oh, I like that there I might put that there Yes, this is a goodie. Ooh, let's me. I better be recording. Yes, recording. Good. Okay, and oh, I like that. Let's see what else. Then we have to do down here. Now, what would I like to see down there? I would probably like to see a coordinating paper to that, which I have here. This one. I probably would like to see something like that. Maybe not. Oh yeah, I like that. Okay, I'm going to tear this one. Um, I actually am going to just tear it by hand, not with the ruler. Because if I need to um, sort of cover any spots, I can do that with a little bit of collage. Yes, I'm going to have to because I've torn it too narrow. But that doesn't matter. Okay, and I just need to measure in here, so that's like that, so I need to tear it about there. Okay, put that up there, don't need those. So that's going to go there, and I think I might have a bit of something coming in there. I'm going to glue that, just take this page off. Okay, I think that goes that way. Oh, I better, um, I don't remember what kit this is, but it's Digital Curio. I better write that down that I have to um, link that one as well. I'll write it on here. I don't know where, I've, I've lost my other bit. Digital Curio. So these will be down in the description box. But I don't know what kit, so don't ask me what kit, but you'll have to go and look for it. Now, let me just see here. Oh, I really like that. It's so pretty. Let me just cut this one out. Actually, I think I might like this one on the reverse side, possibly. But I might need it bigger. don't know. I think this one's my favourite. Now, I also have that one. Like if you were to open it up and have a peek of that one, no, that's not going to work. I'll just shove that one over there. 
I do like this one. Oh, I love that. Now, someone mentioned, was I going to scan my tags? And the answer is, uh, I don't think so because um, I used uh, other people's papers under them. And so, no, they're, you know, they're not my papers to scan. So uh, if I were ever to do any that were all of my own things, then uh, yes, I'll do that. But I haven't. See, look, you know, I'm using these papers. These are not mine to scan. So I, won't, I can't scan these. You'll need to um, get their papers and, and then you can rec recreate the look. Okay. And you'll notice I don't um, scan that many, or oh, do quite like that, that many fabrics either because um, I was under the impression that um, fabrics, um, especially newer fabrics, can be um, protected by copyright. And so I'm not sure about it, so I don't tend to um, scan them very, very much at all. Um, unless, um, so I'm just thinking while I'm talking, um, unless I have something that's like really old and it's a tiny bit or something like that and then I'm I'm less concerned about it but like you know I don't know um, you know feed sacks or those things those American feet grain you know, like flower sacks I don't know if they I, they're probably not I don't know but some of them more like I have some beautiful old Sanderson fabrics I would never um, I would love to you know ha include those in my work but I wouldn't go there I just wouldn't because that's a company that's still going strong and I'm sure their, a lot of their designs are protected. Instead, the, you know, the, 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 some William Morris designs are protected, others aren't. Just depends which ones. I'm just cutting out this one because I feel like these colors go better there. And I, I might change my mind and I might put um, this up here. Actually, I probably, oh no, I don't have it. I was thinking there might be an antique papery paper that would look nice as well. Well, go and dry your hair. I didn't want to disturb your video. You won't disturb my video. You can just uh, like pull the door too. I mean, I don't think that people will be concerned if they can hear the hairdryer going. Okay. I think that's pretty there. That's a possibility. The other thing I was thinking was uh, I could have some of this up here and I quite like that. Or is that becoming too be beigey? Could have a bit of this coming in here. Maybe I like that. I'm going to tear that. I was going to fussy cut it, but I think I'll tear it. because it will nearly fit. I think I quite like that. Put that up there and have that there. I need to tear it down. I'm going to tear it down a little bit here and a little bit here. And I think I'm going to put that there. Yes, I am. Oh, he's back. How'd you go? Good. I'm still videoing. Okay. I took a, I'm taking a long time today. Okay, good. I'm wondering if it needs a third piece. And it does. Okay, that's good. So that kind of sort of shows you where that opens to. Oh, I really like that. Yes. Now here, I'm thinking I might just put some of this here. I'm just going to tear it. 
I'll put it that way. Just tear it down there. Might prefer this one, you know, after all of that. Maybe a bit and a bit. Oh, now I'm becoming indecisive. But I do like that more. Okay. Made a decision. Trim that off just a sec. And then I'm going to put this one here. There's my glue. one there and do I need anything else oh that's rubbish that's too much let me see no I think I'm just going to leave that there's more rubbish to put on the floor. And more rubbish to put on the floor. Oh, and more. Okay, and then I need to do this side. Now, what am I going to do on this side? It's going to be a writing side, I think, or is it going to be decorated? Um, I was thinking I might like to put this somewhere, but I'm not sure. Probably get some more of this paper because it's all coordinating. Or this paper or the other one because the other one you can write on that's why I keep going back to this one and it also coordinates in with everything that we're doing we've done or I have done on the front so I'm thinking this one maybe some straw paper yeah I really like that can't go past it just need to tear a little bit more off just have a look here. Oh no, I had that there. Okay, yeah. So I think I'm going to put this one here. And I was I said straw paper, didn't I? Well, what about this one? Very bad tearing going on there. I actually like this okay you're not used to the silence I'm very quiet today nothing nothing happening just out of conversation I did my gas bagging at the beginning of the video okay another page I'd like to give these a, a whirl with the medieval mirage papers. I might have to do that one day as well. Because I think they'd be beautiful. And I'll just put this here. Yes, that's doing it for me. Oh, 
and then we need something else or not. That one, oh, I've got this one. Might be too big, just maybe a little bit of it. A little bit up there, yes. Just cut that out. And put that in there. Perfect, done. So for me, that's the deck. Oh, I like that one. That's inside. You can write there. You can write here. Do we need a label there? I thought I was finished. What colours do we have going on? No, I think I'm going to leave it. Oh, oh I don't mind that. Lulu, can you come here, please? We'll get Lulu's advice. So I've made this envelope. Nice. Okay, it's nice, isn't it? Do I need a label there? Yeah. Or without? I like it with the label. With the label. Yeah. So let's put the label there. Lulu says yes. Okay. And that's the reverse side. Nice. Yay. Yeah, no, no, thank you. Okay. You've got a lot to do. No, You've got a sore throat, do you? Oh, dear. That sore throat comes back to haunt you fairly often. Okay, done. Okay, right guys, let's have a look what I did. So there's this one, and it's a nice big pocket in there. Thank you, Patricia. This was a really fun thing to do. And then that's my reverse side for writing. And then um, this one here. And then that's the inside, and that's the outside. So very pretty. And then obviously you will clip these into your journal. And then there's this one, the first one I did with the cutout embroideries and here, and then that is the back as well. So that is my video today. Thank you for watching. Oh my goodness, one hour and 22 minutes. I took a really long time. Okay, all right. I better go and uh, upload this video. It'll take two hours to upload and I will be back tomorrow. Bye.